Hello and welcome to episode 11 of my Minecraft Technic Hardcore Modded Skyblock Tutorial Let's Play series. In this episode we shall finish a few of the quests and then start the quest Fungus Among Us. I say start the quest because I don't know how long the mycelium takes to spread. But anyway, let's. the first thing, very first thing I want to do is thank Cole for his very very helpful suggestion about um, making shears and shearing the leaves off the trees instead of crooking. Um, you get a far 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 more leaves and you just simply then put them in a um, barrel and they'll turn into dirt rather than using the saplings and it's just like I say so so much easier because you get tons of uh, leaves so thank you very much Cole for that I mean I know I should have realized in galactic science uh, we did the same we uh, sieved the uh, we used shears got leaves and then just put them in the compost bins um, what can I say I'd forgotten because my memory isn't great but anyway, we got there in the end. Thank you, Cole, for reminding me of that. Okay, so let's look at the quest book. The last episode was sacking out, wasn't it? So, you think I've been slacking, don't you? Let's show you what I've been up to. So in sacking out, if we go take a look at it, we had to build down, remember? And then we had to build a squid farm. And it said that, first of all, it needs to be below level 63 it said it needs to be 13 by 13 and three blocks deep okay so let's go take a look at what I've been doing with that now you'll remember when I uh, built down I said I want to do this level three tiers deep at least for in case I get creepers or other monsters later on that explode so you can see I've done three tiers deep and I've created myself a little area down here to get start with future episodes so we have space but here is my squid farm now I've done it differently to what the book said of uh, the quest um, I've done 15 by 15 but what the um, quest book says about filling it completely with water I didn't like the idea I prefer to have I started off as it said at the sides uh, and doing the below the top layer a block all the way across but I then put water all across the bottom of it and as you can see that's got me my squids can I bash them with a hammer? yeah I can so there you go I can now get the ink sacks so let's look at the quest book and manual submit and there we go and now I'm going to get a half a heart which is cool because I think I'm going to need all the lives I can get for later on with the blood magic and all sorts Okay, so that's that quest done, sacking out. Um, old MacDonald I'd already completed previously. Uh, so I was working my way down here. So getting resources, I believe I've done it in the previous episode. So more storage. That was to create a wood to iron chest upgrade, which was um, planks of wood with an iron ingot in the middle and that got me this so I can claim the reward so that's more storage done next I um, went on to this one or doubling so let's go over and show you what I done with that okay so over here the all doubling of course is talking about Tinker's Construct so let's see how far we can get with that first of all it says making um, grout so now that you have a source of ores it would be nice to be able to double these or those ores and also make metal tools first you need to make some clay gravel and sand to make some grout bake them in a furnace to get seared bricks this will also get you a copy of mighty smelting so I've done that I've got the grout put them all together you've seen me do that already so next step making the smeltery so I'd got made all of them pieces and built the smeltery as you can see there 
oops, didn't mean to click on it. Then the last one, casting coal. To make tools, you're going to need to make an aluminium brass casts. But before you are going to want to, before that, you are going to want an ingot cast. To make aluminium brass, put a ratio of three aluminium to one copper in the smeltery. Now place any kind of brick or ingot into the casting table. Right click. On the faucet to pull the alum. Yeah, you know how to do that. So I need an ingot cast, which I've got. So let's open it up. Manual submit. There we go. Another half a heart and my ingot cast back. Okay, so that's the ore doublings done. That's now unlocked. Where's my hoe app? Planning ahead and mega tools. Oh, and better shears. So I definitely want to look at this. With all the leaves that you are shearing for compost, it would be nice to make some shears that last longer. Uh, it takes two inver to make inver shears. To make inver, put a ratio of two to one, two iron to one nickel into the smelter. Two iron and one nickel will get you three inver. So let's do that. Two iron and one nickel. Now you can see I've started to upgrade all my chests. So I need nickel, which I don't have down here. And I need iron. Okay, so I'll grab two iron ingots. And we want some nickel now. There's pulverized nickel ore, which I'll use. Okay, now at this point, you can either, um, with the dust, well, no, if you smash it with the hammer, it turns into dust again. Um, so what I do is I just throw that in the smeltery to cut a long story short. And it will double it up for me. So in there, throw the nickel in. That will now double into 10 ingots. And at the same time, throw in my two iron. And then that will get me, uh, should get me the um, inver that I need. Fortunately, the uh, nickel doesn't take too long to smelt, nor does the iron. Okay, so there's nickel. Just wait for this iron now. And I'm going to need to put that there. Okay, so there we go. Remember, it will put the last item you smelted at the bottom. And because it was iron, it's turned into the invar because I had the nickel in there. So I've got the three that I need. Let's just check what I need. Oh, I need to make the actual shears to update this quest. So let's go back to that. Okay, so now what I'll do, put my ingot cast in. and grab three of them. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, now before I continue with that quest, what I want to do, which this episode is supposed to be about, is this one. Fungus Among Us. <clears throat> Excuse me throats playing up. Okay, so let's take a look at that because of course it's also another direction that I can go in and so I want to know what that is. So let's do this fungus among us. Hopefully by now you've sifted enough sand to find ancient spore. This will let us create mycelium. Over here it says make a plot of dirt at least three by three. 
let's do it. Okay, so I've got some dirt, as you can see. And I'm gonna put it over here near my squid farm, why not? I don't want it jumping in the water though, so all right, let's pull it here. So three by three. I guess I could make it bigger. Yeah, let's make it bigger. There we go, a little bigger. Okay, now what we do, ancient spores. Plant that and wait for it to spread. And according to the book, what I'm then gonna need to do, then put a wooden barrel in the middle and put water in the bucket, in it. Okay, so whilst that mycelium is spreading, let's continue on with these these quests, other quests that are unlocked. So we'll continue with the shears because I don't know how long this is going to take to spread. Plus I want to get three more dirt to make this nice and even. Yeah, so I need three more dirt for that. Okay, so we'll leave that doing that. And let's make the in-bar shears. There we are. And let's give them a go. We need three more dirt. Um, the heart, let's see, I've got a quarter there and a half, but I'm sure I've got another one in my chest. Oh, it's night time, let's sleep. I'm looking forward to getting onto the blood magic mod. I've never actually um, used that, so that'd be a lot of fun. Right, okay, let's see, what heart have I got in the chest? Oh, three quarters, so let's make that up. and use it. Right, I've got eight lives remaining. We'll throw that in there. Okay, let's test these shears out, because the iron ones didn't, didn't last long at all. So I hope these are much better. So let's get my axe, deal with this tree. And let's replant. It's funny, that happens, it keeps dropping when there's usually a leaf left up there. Um, some of these leaves and it sits on top of them but I can't see any leaves there so that's a bit strange anyway so there we are there's my shears and they took so little damage the other iron shears would have been half damaged by doing that even though there that weren't that many leaves anyway so let's get some more dirt we need free dirt Go. so that dirt's cooking up. Can I grab that yet? No. Um, right, let's take a look at the quest book. Okay, so automating composting. Oh, now this does sound cool. Now that you can shear so many leaves, it's time to make the composting a bit less of a manual process. Totally agree. Place a hopper on the ground a wooden barrel on top of that, a hopper on top of that, and a chest on top of that, as shown here. Hmm. 
that sounds interesting. So, okay, hopper, barrel, and then hopper again and chest. I'm sure, we can do that. Going to need iron for the hopper. Won't need the inver. Okay, the hopper. Is that the hopper? Oh no. I'm trying to. It may not even be the same recipe in this uh, mod, so let's just look at what the hopper is. There we go. Oh, and a chest in the middle, of course. That was the one I was forgetting. Okay. So we're going to need two chests because we're going to need two hoppers and that means I haven't got enough iron great let's take a look can I get some iron crushed iron how much will that get us this is sand Okay, that gets us 16 more ingots. That should be more than enough. Let's go throw it in the smeltery. First, let's take out this. Okay, let's put in the iron dust. While that's going, let's check on our mycelium. It's spreading nicely. Ah, oh, did I get more dirt? Yeah, two. I need one more though. To make that complete. Okay, so Let's go get one more dirt and finish that. Let's go get our iron. So I'm going to need 10 iron in total. Is it not melted yet? Oh, it has. So I only need three. Okay, let's make our two hoppers. Okay, we're going to need a chest. Need two chests in actual fact. I could do iron chests in fact, hmm, no I can't waste my iron at the moment, 
Okay, so we've got our chests. Um, what else did I need? So a hopper on the ground, and it said about uh, if I face the hopper to the chest. Will it, mm, I'm wondering if it'll work if I place the top on that. Anyway, let's claim the reward. And let's now see if I can do this. I'm thinking chest on the very bottom and then hopper on the top. Surely that will work. Um, let's check the mycelium. I'm just going to keep going on all of this until the timer goes to signal the 30 minutes is up. Um, I'm going to wait for that to properly spread before I put the barrel on there. Okay, so with this, let's do this one here. So let's put a chest there and a hopper on top of that. Then um, See, I've got the memory of an ant. Oh, then a barrel. Place a hook on the ground, a wooden barrel on top of that. So that's what we want, wooden barrel. And I think it said a hopper on top of that. And then a chest. So where's my stone? Now, why don't I build a nice little load of steps up to it? Oh. Don't you just hate it when you do that? Okay, so it said a hopper there and a chest. There we go. Oh, it reaches up to my next level. Okay, so let's do the stairs up to this. So I don't want to have to keep messing around trying to get up there. Okay, so now your leaves in the top chest so they can filter down. The trouble is I don't have any leaves. So let's grab some leaves because I'm sure you want to see if this works or not. And we can nearly do that mycelium. First I'll sleep. Right, let's get a load of leaves. It'd be nice when we can automate the tree and the uh, harvesting of the, the trees because in uh, the mine factory reloaded it can harvest leaves for you so that would be very nice if we can get onto that right got plenty of leaves let's go give this a try mm, let's get two stacks why not why be stingy That's got me two stacks, that's good enough. So, let's see if this works. 
I'm not sure about the bottom bit. I'm hoping it's correct. So we throw our leaves in there. They're filtering out into the uh, hopper. And they filtered straight into the barrel. Cool. But what I want to see is if it filters into that bottom chest. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, it worked. There we go. Cool. So what I can do is switch this chest. In fact, let's do that. Take that out. Put the axe in there. And you guessed it. I'm going to put the other chest. There. There we go. Nice. Oh nice big chest which I want to slowly upgrade all my chests to the iron in fact try and upgrade them even further so there we go I'm going to leave that uh, doing that let's go check the mycelium fortunately I've got a barrel left let's put the barrel down in the middle let's put some water in it and there we go look at that look at the mushrooms how quickly they're appearing Okay, so let's check what the book said to how to complete this. So I need one of each type of mushroom. Let's do it. One of them. And one of them. Let's now check. Manual. There you go. Mushroom, mushroom. Okay, souls of the damned. Now that you have a source of witch water, you'll want to put an infinite source of water nearby. Once the water in the barrel has fully converted into witch water, put a piece of sand in there to get soul sand. Sifting soul sand can get you never quartz, never wart, and gas tears. Oh, very nice for the never wart and gas tears. That's shouting potions to me. You can plant never wart on soul sand to grow to grow more. I see. Yes. Yeah, so that's why we want the soul sand for the never wart. Okay. And to complete that, we'll need soul sand. Let's have a look though. What else I've jumped by? Okay. So where's my hoe at? Let's have a look. Oh, that's gonna be doing all of this okay I will perhaps leave that for now what about this one planning ahead in the not too distant future you're going to need rubber and plastic let's make sure you have the resources you need rubber comes from rubber trees using rubber tree seeds from sifting dirt or saplings from breaking blah 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 plant roughly four rubber trees when you cut the trees down you'll get rubber wood and raw rubber cook the raw rubber in a furnace to get rubber and cook rubber in a furnace to get raw plastic okay so you know what I've already got some of that so let's go do it first of all though is this turning into oh it is witch water look at that cool Okay, so here's some rubber, and you'll also notice that I've got some rubber tree seeds. So I'll be sure to plant some of them because that's basically just told us we're going to need loads. Okay, so let's put how many do I need to keep? One and one. One rubber bar, one raw plastic. Okay. So let's cook up two. Oh, 
Oh, there's the timer. I shall just finish this quick. There's our rubber bar. Okay, now to make the raw plastic. I thought it was in there, no? Okay, so we've got to cook it once more. Okay, there's our raw plastic. Let's open the book. Manual submit. Claim reward. Okay, so cool. Another one done. And right, that's the time has gone. So in the next episode, we will finish off Fungus Among Us with what it's asked us to do there with the soul sand. And we'll take a look. We'll do Where's My Ho At and Megatools. Because then it looks like, oh no, I still need to do these two. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.